All right, YouTube. So the video down below is Joe Lieberman reacting to uh, John Kerry going over to Iran and trying to be Mr. Diplomacy. You know, I guess he still thinks that he's uh, Secretary of State. So uh, he's going over there and um, it just looks really bad. So, you know, it's not even the video that I want to talk about down below, but it's the whole situation so if I'm Trump like this is something that I would have to put the kibosh on immediately because I didn't pick this guy John Kerry I didn't pick this 322 baller to go and speak on the behalf of my administration when he's not even a part of it you know he's an outsider um, why the hell would I want him you know doing that in the first place so um, I don't know if they're gonna enforce the Logan Act or is it the Hatch Act or the Logan Act one of the two um, and it's one of the things that they were talking about charging uh, Flynn with, uh, uh, General Michael Flynn, and uh, I guess they never charged him on it. I think it was the Hatch Act. I'm not sure. If you guys remember, leave a comment in the uh, comment section below. But yeah, just fuck it. You know, uh, or fuck him rather. Like John Kerry, he should be nowhere near Iran. I mean, on you know, on personal business, you know, who gives a shit? But you know, trying to. Um, in his mind, I guess he still thinks he's a uh, Secretary of State, so he's LARPing and, you know, being on Iran and just being a, a jackass in general. <laughs> Alright guys, that was a pretty good take. I'm going to end it on that. Um, I don't think it's... You know, I don't know if uh, Trump's going to do anything about this, to be honest. I think he's um, going to try and make a point, to be honest. I think he's going to let John Kerry just run around and, you know, say his dumb shit, you know, his... Uh, his booze mouth delivery, just talking about things and not really being clear about... Oh, and, you know, but by the way, talking about how Trump is like a, a teenage girl and all this bullshit, it's just, you know... Um, he actually believes he thinks he has a chance at winning the Democratic uh, nomination for the 2020 race. Um, yet, this is his level of intellect, you know, him calling Trump a, was an 11-year-old girl, I think, and like, an, I don't know, some stupid... You know, just like a very, like, uh, not very well thought out, like, insult. And it's not even constructive either. It's just name calling, you know. And this was in response to Trump saying, like, hey, I have a big problem with him going around and, you know, LARPing and pretending that he's still Secretary of State. Like, I got a huge problem with that. That's probably what uh, Trump was thinking. But anyways, he, he's probably just going to make the same point. He's probably just going to say, like, I'm just going to let him do his thing. You know, John Kerry can dig himself the... Uh, himself a, a grave uh, figuratively speaking and just continue to make himself look like a jackass you know kind of like what he did with uh with brennan you know brennan eventually got criticized by his own you know they're like you know it's uh, it's a bit too far when you say that the president is uh guilty of treason you know that's a uh, that's a uh, crime that's punishable by death that's not that's a pretty uh that's a hefty charge, you know, especially when you don't have evidence. And especially if the evidence is, oh, you know, he's having a, a press conference with Putin, so he must be, uh, I don't know, it's stupid. Uh, he, he must be a, a, a treasonous traitor. It's stupid, you know, it's like... And then Max Boot was saying the same stupid shit, too. This was, um, this is actually a video that I found, um, I'll, actually, I'll do a video about this next. Max Boot was talking about how Trump should threaten Russia more often, you know. These neocons, man, I swear to God. And uh, John Kerry, he's a neocon. I don't care that he has a D after his name. He's a fucking neocon. These neocons and these neoliberals, they're all the same people. It's just, you know, the only distinction is, is like, neoliberals, they tend to have the D after their name. Neocons are, uh, they have the R after their names. I, I would go ahead and say that neoliberals is like, you know, yeah, I mean, that that's a pretty, that's a pretty accurate, uh, situ uh pretty accurate, uh, name i guess but i would go ahead and like you know even scrap the term neoliberals and just throw them all into the same category as neocons yeah um neoliberals that's that's an interesting one i mean hillary clinton is a neocon and a neoliberal so all right anyways i'm rambling at this point thanks you thank you so much for watching guys god bless and uh max boot getting owned by i forgot his name but that video is next i'll see you later